guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I am sharing a closet tour of my home office craft room closet, which is what is behind me. A little less than a year ago, I completely made over this closet into a very functional, usable, and what I consider beautiful space that just fits my aesthetic and serves real purpose. That is part of my closet diary series. I'll have that link below if you haven't seen it. So I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of how I organized everything, how I set everything up, basically how I store all of my crafting, home office type of supplies in here. For the most part, everything's very budget friendly. Most of my organizers come from the dollar store, some are from Ikea. I feel like whenever anybody does like some sort of a tour video, they're always like, this video has been so requested or I get so many questions about this. Nobody asked me for this. That's the truth. I decided to do it because I love this closet. I worked hard on this closet. I'm proud of this closet and I want to show it off. Either way, hopefully you guys can get some organization ideas and even a little bit of inspiration on how to make your closets a more attractive space. So let's jump into my home office craft closet tour. Here is an overview of what my closet looks like. So like I said, my goal is basically to have my organizational spaces set up as functional as possible, utilizing all the space, wasting nothing, but also keeping it very attractive looking. All right, so I'll start by going through kind of my open shelving and all my containers and everything I keep on these open shelves. I try to keep everything tidy and in pretty containers so there's not just a bunch of random clutter sitting on these shelves. I'll have as many items as possible, link below if you're interested. If you watch my channel, you've probably seen me use these baskets a few different places around my home office. I specifically set my shelves up. They are adjustable, but I specifically set them up so they could fit one or two of these on a shelf and that worked out perfect. These are from Target from the kids section. They come in pink and white and the gold foil polka dots are just super cute. So inside of mine is actually my collection of packaging. I am a graphic designer by trade and I love packaging so I collect packaging and keep packaging that I think is really pretty when I read to this closet pared down this collection. So I'm keeping it to that bin only. And a similar note, We've got a bag of bags here. I can't imagine I'm the only person who does this. I feel bad throwing away fancy shopping bags, especially when they're really pretty and I feel like they inspire me. So I have a bag full of all sorts of bags in here. Um, sometimes I use them for art projects or as display. And then over here I've got another large bin. This is mostly Dollar Tree stuff. It's all like signs and frames and stuff for crafting and DIY projects. Again, I like to keep everything limited to this basket. If my collection starts to exceed from this bin, I know it's time to pare down. So the next shelf is like what's at my main eye level. So I wanted to kind of display some things that I think are pretty, keep it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, and just like overall less cluttered. All of these pink bins that you will see throughout this closet are from the Dollar Tree. The pink ones come out in the spring and summer, so if you want pink, that's one to go and look. I purchased all of these last summer. So in this first bin over here, I have most of my painting supplies and glues, just general craft paints. I've got some resin stuff, different glue formulas, and then like some paper plates and whatnot for when I paint, so I keep all that in there. Then over here, I just have some items kind of displayed. This is my bank, so I have all my change. Whenever I get change, I put it in here. It's getting pretty full. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know who he is. And then back here, this is a stationery kit that I had as a kid of Sailor Moon. Super nostalgic to me, really cute, so I just keep it out on display. And then here's my business cards and the business card holder. And then I just have this wire basket here that I keep a bunch of paper, envelopes, stationery, that sort of thing in here. Notebooks, little little pads of paper. This I don't remember where this wire basket came from, but I spray painted it gold. This is a calculator that I have had ever since I was a little kid. It's so cute. Don't use it or anything, but I will never get rid of it. I just think it's so cute. I think a lot of these are just really pretty, so I kind of like to have them on display. And then I have this little baby bucket here full of all my gel pens. I think this came from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. And then on the next few shelves, I keep more larger boxes. 
The black ones come from Ikea and are super, super cheap. And I used my Cricut to label as many of my boxes as possible. So I like to just keep things sorted and organized. This is like scrap paper, any sort of like loose random pieces of paper that I don't want to throw away yet. And obviously ribbon. And then as you can see in this big box, I keep all my rolls of Cricut vinyl. So everything's rolled in here all neatly. And then in another one of these pink Dollar Tree bins, I literally just have glitter. So this is all my Arteza glitter. I bought this huge set, which is amazing. It has every color under the sun. I love glitter for crafting. It's funny because this container here is from Home Goods, and it actually is what kind of inspired my closet, the whole aesthetic I went for. I love pink and peach together. So this gradient box with the gold detailing, I absolutely had to get it when I saw it. So the inside of the closet is painted peach colored and then most of my storage containers are black, white, and pink. I keep a bunch of just like random crafting stuff in here. For, most of it is from the Dollar Tree. And then up top, I keep the things that I really don't grab for as frequently. So a lot of this is sentimental items. Up there is my postage scale. And then in this bucket, I have fabric and like t-shirts and stuff that I pr plan to do some DIY crafting with. This drawer system is from Ikea. It's very popular. I feel like everybody uses these. They're called the Alex drawers. They come in a couple different variations. I've had this for a really long time and some of the inside drawers are starting to collapse, I'll show you, but um, it's, it's held up pretty well. So I have this really tiny space right in between the shelving and then the Alex drawers. I have my paper cutter and then another paper cutter here. So again, I purposely set up my shelving so I had that little bit of extra space there to slip a few smaller things in there. And I'll just quickly take you guys through my drawers. Organized drawers make me so happy. Every time I open these drawers, they put a smile on my face. These leopard organizers are really old. I know they're from Home Goods, but I think they're probably over 10 years old at this point. My mom got them for me a really long time ago, but they fit perfect in these drawers. So I was very excited. I love it. So I've got Sharpies back here. I've got some of my different Prismacolor art markers. These are all paint brushes, painting tools. I've got some different tape, a mini stapler, whiteout more tapes and adhesive, some glue sticks, got a couple of glue guns, a hole puncher, glue gun sticks, um, a bunch of washi tape and some adhesive things here. And then these are some different business cards. So that's that drawer. And then the next drawer, organized kind of similarly. Everyone except the leopard one comes from the Dollar Tree. So these three are all from the Dollar Tree. This is all my stickers. These are some stickers, little felt stickers, some little pom-poms, some different clips. Um, these are like bigger decal stickers. And then these are all my Arteza acrylic paints. And then you can probably kind of see I got a big box of crayons back there. And I would consider this my paper drawer. So I have some different peel and stick um, contact papers here. That's all my printer paper. I have like some laminating files, my watercolor paper, that sort of thing. And then down here is just random odds and ends. So I've got some extra file folders, some envelopes, different pencil holders, extra stuff to use for my Cricut. That is a heat gun kit. Here I have just some random extra Cricut supplies. So my big roll of transfer tape, that is a laminator some vinyl notepads, my adhesive boards for the Cricut, my giant ruler, just some extra supplies. And then in the very bottom, I have just like random art prints as well as just like art projects from myself, from school, from college or whenever. So just like stuff that I don't wanna get rid of or I'm just holding on to or things that I'm possibly going to frame and utilize later. Like I said, the, the drawers are starting to cave in from the weight of this thing, but this thing is great because it holds such like wide pieces of paper and I really like that. And then on the sides here, I just have some extra frames and like decor things that I could just keep on the side. I got my laptop over there. All right, you guys, that wraps up my office and craft room closet tour. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.